Turcato. I'm the head of the detector group at the European XL in Schönefeld in Germany. The detector group takes care of the detectors of the European X-Files, which are basically large cameras. Their scope is to record the X-rays. The X-rays come from the machine, hit the sample that we want to study, and we basically record the images out of them with our detectors. So I think they have to think ahead, right? Uh, normally policymakers, right, they are elected and their mandate is four or five years. And if you invest in science, you cannot expect to have an immediate return after four or five years. It's the, the return time is much longer. But what happens is that if you invest in science, science gives you all that makes your future better, right? Um, if you think about fundamental science, of course, you're farther, farther away from what impacts on your normal life, right? But if you look to uh, science, which is more applied, like, for example, what we do at the European x where we start to uh, find out the structure of viruses, where we study materials to have, for example, better batteries in the future or better memories for your hard disk, for your computer. This is something if you do an experiment today, you cannot expect an outcome tomorrow, not even at the um, duration of the mandate of a politician, right? But you have to invest now to have the outcome and what makes your life better in 10 years from now. And especially now that we live uh, in, a, in a context where we see climate changes, right? And environmental uh, problems and sustainability is becoming very important. Finding a more efficient way also to um, use our energy is vital and on that it's only science which can help. Yeah, that's a, a really difficult question because uh, um, I really like the scientific community because I think um, something like races is, I wouldn't say non-existing, but really um, low because what we care is that we can work with a person and the person work, works well with us. This is independent on gender, on race, on color, on uh, sexual orientation, anything, right? This is what we normally care, and this is what I experience in my daily life. If we think about minorities and the diverse um, environment, so I have the fortune to work at the European x where I meet people of basically a lot of countries, right? Um, if we go more specific, and in my case, right, I'm a woman, and still in sciences like physics, the women are quite underrepresented. Uh, this doesn't, it cannot be solved by, let's say, hiring more uh, female scientists uh, or physicists at the European x because they are already much less than men out of the university, right? So if at, 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 in physics there are 15% of women, you cannot expect that then in a research institute you have 50%, right? This doesn't work. Uh, I think what really helps in this respect is uh, stimulating and encouraging girls to go in this direction because they have the capability, yeah? That it's not that they are worse than men in this respect. And also seeing, I think, example of women who can do this work well. And I think we have many around, right? And uh, girls shouldn't be discouraged by the fact that it's a tough job, that it's difficult to, uh, to have a family if you have this kind of a job, right? There are a lot of uh, ladies who are good medicine doctors, and this is also a very challenging job. And I don't think it's less difficult than being a physicist. It's just that women think, culturally think they are more, um, uh, use and good tool in uh, works that imply taking care of people. But I think also science, women and science make a very good match because they bring a lot of, uh, they bring a different perspective and they bring uh, their common sense, they bring their capabilities also there. So I think encouraging girls since a young age and giving them good example could be really a good way to increase the number of women and science like physics, for example.